Welcome back to the Jimmy Dore Show. Craig Pasta Jardula here with Kurt Metzger in the house as well as JD. Uh, I want to play this video over here. This is an amazing video. It was an Alabama mother, uh, and she just she just goes off, and the the uh, meme goes viral. About sixteen million views. Uh, take a look at it. She says everything here, clear as day. I am so tired of feeling helpless as a parent. Yes, my kids are grown adults. My oldest is twenty eight. My youngest is twenty five. And I thought by teaching them what I learned, which is you work hard, you get a good job, you're going to get the things in life that you need, right? Worked for me. Why wouldn't it work for them? Because it doesn't. <laughs> because the world has changed, all right? And now I feel like I see them struggling. And before my generation comes at me, yes, I understand struggling is a part of life. We all struggle. But there's a difference between struggling and drowning, all right? So we struggled, and it was tough. But you know what? We made it. We knew there was a light at the end of the tunnel with our struggle. It seems like kids today, no matter how much they struggle, they just get further and further down the water into the drowning point. All right. When I was their age, I was making less than $10 an hour and I could afford to live on my own. Now you have to be making six figure salary to get a decent, tiny little place to live. So what the f is going on and how do we help them as parents? I told my son, all you have to do is work hard, go to college, or join the military like I did. Um, he went to college, got his degree, got a full-time job. He moved back in with me right when he graduated from college because he said, hey, mom, as soon as I get a job, which was within two weeks of him getting out of college, um, maybe take me two months and I'll save up enough money for me to move out. Okay, cool. It's been 10 months. He has saved almost every dime and still can't afford to live. Why are one-bedroom studio apartments almost $2,000 a month? Why? Like, I, I just don't get it. So I don't even think that there's even classes anymore. There used to be, uh, you know, upper class, middle class, lower class. It's right. literally turning into the ultra wealthy, and then everybody else is just poor. We'll go eat a bug burger and calm down <laughs> and learn to love it. Oh, nothing and like it. It is kind of crazy, though, that every single demographic as far as the poor just keeps on growing poverty keeps going up homelessness keeps going up jobs keep going down the jobs that we have over here were completely service-based economy it's, it's all hard. hospitality we don't make anything we don't fix anything i mean where are people to turn to only I look, fans oh you know, yeah right no what what about this whole college situation where the kids are so strapped down when they get out of college how much they owe right now for a degree that ain't worth only anything fans Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, <laughs> your butt straps, so, so to speak. <laughs> Jimmy, you got anything to say about that? Uh, I just saw a thing with Bill Maher, and uh, he was talking with Marion Williamson, and he says, you know, when I drive around the country, everything looks fine. Oh, is that right? That's what he said. And she, go she goes, well, did you go down to Skid Row? He goes, well, of course I didn't go down there. She goes, well, what do you... <laughs> Yeah, right, you're a good boy, Marion Williamson. Like Marion Williamson actually was handing him his ass. It was funny. I, you know, I don't hold it against somebody not knowing stuff, seeing as how I don't but, know so much stuff. Right. But the arrogance of not knowing is to, mind blowing. And to like, and to to almost wear your ignorance as a badge of honor. That's what I think Bill Maher is doing. I, I'm going to show that video. I'll show it Wednesday. But it it's, it seems crazy. Yeah, that um, I didn't look and I didn't see that. <laughs> pe pe like workers haven't had a raise since 1980 if you put it mm -hmm. up against inflation and uh, people have been going backwards and we've been shrinking the middle class. This is how capitalism works. And that's why they, 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 they crushed everybody during lockdowns. They did a controlled demolition of our economy, but it didn't. But it actually helped a bunch of millionaires and billionaires. Oh, yeah. So that's why we were allowed to do it. Believe me, if that was cutting into UPS, Amazon.com, and Target and Walmart's money, they'd have stopped it immediately. Yeah. But, Jimmy, but it, was, it, was, it was putting billions of dollars in their coffers, and it was getting people used to shopping online instead of actually shopping in person. It was, it, was it was perfect the way they pulled Capitalism. it off. Is the only system that has lifted millions of millionaires yeah. out of poverty. <laughs> it gives you choices. It's liberty and stuff. And didn't you always mention something that like a th was it fifty percent of all households don't can't afford a five hundred dollar emergency yes, or something? Eighty percent I mean, of workers live paycheck to paycheck. Half the country can't afford a four hundred dollar emergency, and fifty percent of wage earners earn thirty thousand dollars or less working full time. That's not part time. Full time. 50% of wage yeah. earners, wage earners, and people who get paid on the clock yeah. in America, 50% of them earn $30,000 or less. You ever try to raise a family on 30? And that's full-time working. Don't have any yeah. kids. That's yeah. not half. That's like if you're, 
Right. I, I was going to say, I haven't, by the I haven't looked at the stats lately, but about three years ago, 40% of all homeless people had a job. Had a job. Had a job. So at some, so yeah, that's right. It's oh, ridiculous. I, I got to bring that joke back. I forgot to do that yeah. joke. Come see our live shows. We're going to be in Chicago, Rosemont, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, New York City, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, Stamford, Toronto, Toledo, Detroit, St. Louis, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for those tickets. Mm -hmm.